Welcome to this episode of Video Drone by DIY3DTech.com. It's a cold day out here and a little bit windy on Lake Huron, but uh, sun's out and I want to do some testing with the new polarizing filter. So I don't know how the spark's going to react in this wind, so I got a little bit of wind, uh, a little bit more than I'd like, but we're going to go ahead and we're going to give this a shot anyway. So I've already checked hover, I'm clear to fly, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to take this up. <clears throat> and see what it does just with the uh, the existing wind and see how it goes. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start my video. Already I'm liking the video I'm seeing on the screen. I'm just up a little ways with it. But uh, you can probably see in the overlaid video the uh, just uh, the quality of blues I'm getting out of this polarizing filter. Let's take it up a little bit more. And you're seeing the uh, seeing it out there. I really like what it's doing with the sky. Sorry if the voice sounds a little bit loud. Over the waves and wind and everything, it's a little bit noisy out here today and cold. And so we're looking at the beach. I like the tones of the uh, sand too. At least as they're coming out on the uh, the, the phone. So uh, I don't know if I put uh, some of the hat cam in there too. I might and uh, I'm not getting large wind warnings. I'm a little bit surprised. Let's, uh, let's take it up a little bit more. Let's turn it back out around the lake. That wind's gusting up a little bit. And we're taking it out there. Taking it around, actually. Now I'm getting the large wind velocity warnings fly with caution. Uh, because they definitely picked up a little bit. I am going to try taking it out over the, the water a little bit. Just kind of do a, maybe a circle. I want to take it up higher. Just uh, kind of take it out a little bit more. And I noticed something on the screen complained. And I'm going to take it out towards the buoy a little bit. And uh, still with the large wind warnings. Not surprised. So I'm going to circle this back around. Come back towards me on the beach here. Notice the uh, tilt of the bird. So it's coming back in towards me. But look at the wind tilting it. And I think I'm flying it back towards me. Magnetic interference exiting GPS mode. I've been getting that quite a bit. I don't know, with that last firmware upgrade, I'm a little bit nervous. Especially when it hits uh, any type of buffering. Uh, you know, like with wind or anything like that, it seems to want to uh, drop out of uh, GPS mode. And so, uh, so it's still hanging in there, but you notice the wind's causing it to drift a little bit. I want to bring it back more so my way. Just bring it back across laterally. And uh, yeah, I love sticking. I don't know if you can see that jump when I let off the stick. Compass air, excess GPS mode, then we're back in. I think what I'm going to do is uh, bring it back and try a GPS, do a GPS calibration on it and see what happens. Even though it says uh, it says I'm good on the GPS. Well, I think on the, the filter thing, I'm relatively happy. Oh, I want to do one quick test. Maybe this is a bad idea, but I'm going to click it up to sport mode. And uh, I want to kick it out in sport mode. Nope, I don't get a big... Um, notice when I did that kick. It came back. Well, I'm going to bring it back in. Towards me. It's back in the sun. And so I'm going to bring it down. But it didn't seem to jump when it... Uh, 
hit that, that decides it's going to land over there. Yeah, there's something up with that GPS. I'm going to cut the video, save the video out. I think it's because it's, uh, and I'm just going to confirm land, land it right there. All right, so uh, we had another interesting flight. I'm not going to say a good flight. This, this, this magnetic interference thing is really starting to bother me with this. Um, so definitely on the, the polarizing filter, I'm going to give it a thumbs up. Um, so no question about that. But this compass thing, uh, I'm going to have to get to the bottom of it. So uh, anyways, let me know what you're thinking about for lunch. Me, it was turkey breast today. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. Let me know down in the comments below if you're having the same magnetic field issue as I'm having. So it seems to be a rather new thing. And I'm having it in different locations. So. Anyways, thumbs up, subscribe, and we'll catch you guys in the next video. Cheers.